Hey, hi. I hope all of you are doing fine. Chat GPT is amazing. Everyone agrees to it. Everyone's using it. I too am using it on a daily level. I would be lying if I say everything that Chat GPT does is something that I could have done much more efficiently. Chat GPT is making me more and more efficient by the day. How do I use Chat GPT? What all techniques I use to optimize my Python code using Chat GPT is what I'll explain in this video. So without wasting any further time, let's kick start the video. If there is exactly one thing that is common between all developers and if there is that one thing that every developer hates, that is to write documentation for code. Everyone enjoys to write code, but when it comes to actual documentation, everyone hates it, right? So what I do is when I create a small function in Python, and if there is one set of tasks that is accomplished using one function, what I do next is I pass that function through chat GPT. I extract the code documentation for it. What is the function doing? So that later when I kind of open that function after 5, 8, 10 months, I am able to recollect that this function is meant to do this and I haven't forgotten in the series of code that I've written in terms of what exactly that function does. So I use chat GPT extensively by passing in a code snippet and generating documentation for that code snippet. If you want to do this, if you want to try this out, please go ahead and try it out on your sample code and you will see the amount of difference that simple documentation can do for your code. I like using Matplotlib, Seaborn and Plotly to create visualizations, which is where when you have to create fine-tuned visualizations, wherein you would require say a particular style of dot, all of this is something that you'll have to extensively research on the documentation of Matplotlib, Seaborn or Plotly, which is where if you just ask ChatGPT that this is the kind of visualization that I want, then ChatGPT will kind of give you the right code for it. So all you have to do is imagine the kind of visualization that you have to show to the end audience and ChatGPT will kind of give you the code for it. Isn't it amazing? So I extensively use ChatGPT to create Python code that helps me create some amazing visually appealing visualizations. The next use case of ChatGPT is something that I find very, very useful. That is code understanding. A lot of times what we do is we kind of use legacy code base that is already available for that particular tool or software. And our task is to improvise upon that and then create a solution using that. So in such a case, what happens is you have to firstly understand the code base. Once you understand the code base, it is here that you have to improvise on the code base. Without the code base understanding, uh, there is very little scope of improvement that you can kind of give to that particular section of code. So what I do essentially is in order to understand the legacy code base, I pass some snippets of that particular code base through chat GPT. Chat GPT helps me understand that particular code. Once I have a good understanding of the code base, I am then able to modify the code so that I can add more enhancements to the code and add, and add more features to it. So chat GPT helps me in understanding the code base as well. The next use case that I can think of where I use chat GPT extensively is to optimize my code. So a lot of times when we create the first version of the solution, we end up using data structures that are not very well optimized. So rather than using a list, if I can use a NumPy array, I'll get some optimizations in place. So places where you require optimizations, uh, which are not visible in the first glance, which is where chat GPT is there to help you out. So what I do as a normal routine practice is I create a skeleton of the structure of the code that I want to push or create a solution around. And I pass that through chat GPT to ask for any improvements uh, in code, any optimizations that I can perform. And chat GPT is smart enough to give me some pointers. Uh, it may or may not give me 100% results every time, but most of the times it will give me direction in terms of what I need to optimize so that my code is much more cleaner, much more optimized, much more efficient. So this is where I use ChatGPT extensively, that is to optimize my code. So these are some of the places that I use ChatGPT extensively in order to improve myself 
in terms of the code that I write, in terms of code readability, in terms of optimization, in terms of understanding the code base. So these are some of the points that I wanted to share across with all of you so that you start using ChatGPT in the right manner and become a better developer or a data scientist. This is all that I had in today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do like the content that I create on my channel, it would be super motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos on data science and machine learning. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you.